Have you ever wanted to make one of those whiteboard explainer videos that seem so popular nowadays? You know the ones, those with narrated handwriting, and animated drawing effects. If you work in education, training, or instructional design, chances are that you have already investigated how to make them. Even if you work as a developer, you probably like the idea of having a short video like this, to market or support your product. And, if you are like me, you have tested out several of the authoring tools used to make these videos, and been disappointed to find how limited they are, and how much they cost. You may also be wondering whether it is possible to make the underlying motion graphics in hype. Well, the answer to that question is yes, and I've made this video to show you how. There are a few key skills you need to know to make explainer video graphics in hype. The first one, is knowing how to harness the pencil tool's power to animate vector shapes. Using the pencil tool, with the create line draw animation option selected, allows you to draw, or trace, any number of shapes like the ones being shown here. Of course, after using the pencil tool, you will probably need to fine tune the underlying vector path to clean it up. But once you do, the end result is an animated vector path, with a timeline attached. You can use this path for a whole range of useful things, including drawing illustrations and animating handwriting. The next step is to coordinate the movement of your pen or marker, with the movement of the animated shape or drawing. So let's use that starburst shape animation from the last scene as a test case to show how you might animate drawing with the pencil tool icon shown here on the left. To make it easier, I've included a shape template to trace around. My initial tracing using the pencil tool, made with the create line draw animation option selected, looked like this. It's pretty bad, I know. But that doesn't matter because you can easily edit the path to eliminate unnecessary points and reposition others. After doing that, the end result looks like this, which is okay. So now I have a respectable animated line, but I still need to get the pencil icon to trace out the same motion path. I can do this by reusing the existing shape path to animate the pencil icon. The trick here is knowing how to extract the underlying path data from the original shape, and then, how to apply it, to a new path for the pencil icon. Getting to this path is a two-step process. First, if I click once on the starburst shape, Hype highlights the shape, which then changes, and looks something like this. As you can probably tell, I've redrawn these interface elements because they are a little hard to see inside the app. But notice, how the original shape is surrounded by a colored square border, which is decorated with circular control points on its outside. From here, if I click a second time, but directly over the path, its appearance changes again. Now the path is colored blue, and you can see the individual vector points. At this point, I can go Command C to copy this path together with its timing data. By doing this, I have recorded the path in a form that Hype can reuse. To transfer it, all I have to do is paste it directly onto another selected path. Let's do that now. First, I'm going to select the pencil tool icon, and then make a dummy animation path by moving it away from its current position. It doesn't really matter how big, or in what direction, this dummy path goes. Once we have this dummy motion path formed, we need to select it using the dual click technique we used before. Remember, click once on the pencil icon to select the shape, and then click again on the path to select it. You'll know you have highlighted the path because it will change from a solid blue line to be a dotted blue line. Now for the magic. Go Command V to paste the original shape path into this dummy path. You should see the dummy path is instantly transformed into the shape of a starburst. And that's it. If you run the animation now, the pencil tool icon should look like it's drawing out the starburst shape. There is one last trick to making these animations look more realistic, and that is, using invisible paths to make your pen, or marker movements look more natural. Without this, your drawing tool can seem to jump, in an unnatural way, from one shape, or letter, to the next. So let's use the multiple shapes animation from the second scene as another test case, and show how the pencil tool was smoothly animated into the scene, and then moved from one shape to another along a series of curved trajectories. The trick here is knowing how to animate the pencil along what seems like a more natural path, and doing so without actually drawing a line. If you remember, the original animation, with these connector paths hidden, looked like this. Now let me draw back the curtain, and show you the same animation with the invisible paths showing. As you can see, 
I've used the same motion path techniques as before, but this time, instead of drawing a line, the invisible paths are being used to animate the pencil icon in a curved or more natural way. I hope you enjoyed this short video clip demonstrating the usefulness of Hype for making motion graphics for use in whiteboard videos. Hype outputs video without any sound, so the final video and narration files must be composited together with an external video authoring tool. In this project, I used Camtasia, but any equivalent video authoring tool would do. While all of the motion graphics used here were made in Hype, without any coding, there are more advanced ways to animate vectors in Hype, including ways to animate vectors programmatically, or to animate SVGs imported from other programs, such as Adobe Illustrator. In fact, I've prepared a package containing more demo videos, Hype project files, and resource libraries together with some documentation describing ways to optimize your video production workflow. If you are interested to learn more about this package, contact me at alteredmindware at gmail.com for more information.